Hey everybody, it's Brad and Cri- Ooh, hallelujah. Krista from the Big Family Homestead. And today we're gonna show you a recipe that is possibly dangerous. Yeah, it's made me the um, portly man that I am today. And that is- You can't use that excuse for everything. You know well, that, right? I, I, it's sugar, sugar cream pie. See, she's got me all for clamped. We're making sugar cream pie. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what a sugar cream pie is, first of all, shame on you. <laughs> naughty, naughty, naughty. It's a southern thing. Kind of think of it like a custard. It's, it's a very rich, very, um, well, it's rich, creamy. It's kind of like a creme brulee, maybe? Yeah, I would say so. Creme yeah. brulee. It's, it's super tasty, very vanilla-y, creamy, yummy, awesome. Yes. <laughs> That's technical for those of you who are not in the know. So what we're going to do is going to show you how, well, first of all, ingredients. We're going to do the ingredients and Krista here, oh yeah, she's going to go ahead and be the hands in the pot and uh, we're going to make some sugar cream pie. So here's the ingredients. Okay, so ingredients for the pie crust. You're going to basically need about a cup and a half of crushed up graham crackers and take a look. That It's okay if you get little pieces in there. It makes a really nice, tasty, crunchy, super -de duper texture. You're also going to need six tablespoons of melted butter and you're going to need one third cup of sugar. So yeah, here we go. Okay, ingredients for the pie filling. You're basically going to have one and a half cups of cream and one cup of half and half. I've already combined them in there. You're going to need one pinch of salt. You're going to need five, count them, five tablespoons of cornstarch. You are also going to need one cup of regular old sugar, six tablespoons of butter, a, you know, a heaping tablespoon of vanilla, and some nutmeg to sprinkle over the top. So there you have it. Let's keep on rocking in the free world. Okay, to make a basic graham cracker crust, it's super easy. You just put your cup and a half of crushed up graham crackers, your third cup of sugar in there, and you mix it up with some melted butter. You're going to uh, make sure it's nice and saturated and thoroughly butterfied, and that is that is a technical term. I, I know, I learned it from the, group, the great, the only, one and only, Emerald Legacy. And uh, yeah, that's not true at all. So basically, that's all you do. And then you're gonna mash it into the uh, 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 pie pan and make sure it's, you know, as level and even as you can make it. So poof, done, wambo. On to the next step, yeah. All right, mumsy, so over a medium heat, in a delightful saucepan, in goes your cream and your half and half and your sugar and your cornstarch. Oh, yes. The salt. Oh, yeah, you need your pinch of salt, too. Got to have a pinch of salt in there. You're going to heat this up. You want it to basically thicken. So stir, 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 thicken, thicken, thicken. Go on, baby. Whip it. Whip it real good. Oh, yeah. Now one quick note, as this starts to heat up, you're gonna wanna make sure you whisk it as it starts to thicken because it can get gloopy and bloppy and bloopy down in the bottom of the pan if you're not uh, being very attentive. Very attentive. Is that a technical term? It's a technical term. I think we got a theme going here. Okay. So, looks like we're just about there. It's starting to thicken up, which is really nice. So you're gonna take it off the heat. You're gonna add your vanilla and your butter and doggone it, we are darn near almost done. So one heaping, heaping, Ooh, oops. oops. She may have, may, may have gone a little heavy on there, but it's tasty, tasty vanilla. Ooh, yummy. And then in goes the butter. You stir it up, oh, oven's preheated. Okay, so now that the butter is all melted and we're all stirred up, she's gonna go ahead and put that gloopy, gloppy awesomeness into the pie crust. Now one note here, uh, basically some of the recipes you'll see will call for food coloring to make it more yellow. And I'm kind of like, why add it? It's just food coloring and the vanilla made it a nice, you know, warmer tan color anyway. So I don't see the reason for it. If you feel the need and you just cannot resist, 
Go ahead and add a couple drops of food coloring in there. I prefer green. Not really. Now lastly but not leastly before it hits the oven, we're gonna go ahead and give it a little dusting of nutmeg. Oh yeah, this is gonna be like a party in your mouth. You have no idea. Now into the oven at 325 degrees for about 35 to 45 minutes. You want that to thicken up, it's gonna be nice and oh so delightful. Okay, so we've waited our time and it is now, well, it's fully cooked. It'll be a little bit jiggly, just a little bit jiggly. And what's gonna happen is that's gonna go ahead and solid up. See there, that will get solid. Oh my, Atlanta, that looks delightful. Okay, so now this is the moment of truth and you have to, trust me, you have to let this pie completely cool down because it will burn your face off. First of all, it's really, really hot and it's gotta have some time to set. I wouldn't even mess with it for 45 minutes. So willpower, come and help me, hallelujah. Okay, it is time, the final, oh yeah, look at that pie, whoa. Man, that was almost a party foul, big time. You ready, here we go, going in. Sugar cream delightfulness. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is so good. Creamy, mm -hmm. rich, not too sweet, it's surprising. No, no it's but not. But holy smokes, and the nutmeg adds a lot. Gotta tell you people, at home, easy, from scratch. This is delicious, and you guys can do it too. Absolutely, so I'm Brad and- I'm Krista. For, uh, you know, the big family hoo-ha. You guys have an amazing day.